happy Sunday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, this afternoon I held a healing circle here and it was just beautiful. Lovely energy. It's still buzzing. I can feel it. And the conversation um, was a bit around how we don't often find people we're aligned with when we're doing this kind of work. And I want to speak to that because self-care is spoken about a lot and it's something I even talk about a lot because we tend to neglect ourselves but community care is just as important if not more important than self-care because we innately desire to be connected we innately desire to belong hi Henrietta and when we have other people around us we feel supported and uplifted don't we so community care can actually amplify the self-care. It's deeper, isn't it? It's deeper when you have other people around you who are there for you, who, you know, when someone says me too, don't you feel just great? You feel understood, you feel accepted. It's so important we have people around us that we relate to and be that person ourselves. It's a two-way street community care. So we can share our resources and learn from one another. If you think back in the day before Western society, there were tribes. We were all part of a tribe and everyone was there for one another. It was the whole village bringing up a child. That's the community care I'm speaking to. I understand there's other community care where there's carers and support workers and that kind of thing, but I'm talking about our own community, our individuality, is getting in the way of that people are so independent now and so like it's something to look up to if you're strong and independent but we really need community it's innately in us so if you're feeling alone if you're feeling like you don't have anybody and that happens especially in the spiritual growth personal growth journey because we're not always aligned with the people that we once were friends with and I feel very strongly that a big part of it has to be done alone because otherwise you're being influenced by other people, right? So when it's your own personal growth journey, that's why it's called personal. But we also need connection with others. And that's what I love about holding healing circles and my workshops and things. It connects people, even the group coaching online. It connects people with others on the same, not necessarily the same path, but doing the same sort of work. It's really important to have that. And I've even recently discovered, although I see it with group coaching, there's an 80% higher success rate because of the community. So see how powerful community can be. So if you are feeling alone, find a group, find a workshop, find um, something There's even online, just supporting each other in comments on Facebook. That's community. And there's workshops you can find on Facebook. There's um, meetup groups that meet every week or every month or whatever it is. What's the hobby you enjoy? Dancing? Find a dancing group. And then you're with like-minded people and you're all there to support each other. It's so important. Um, and again, it's two ways. So offer support yourself to others. I actually cover um, community care briefly in my book under the self-care section because it's not really mentioned. If you have my book, drop an emoji below. I'd love to know who's got my book. In fact, I'll add the link for it if someone's interested. But it's such a huge part of our journey. So who are you hanging out with? You, help, you hang out with people that are uplifting you, supporting you. Or are you with people who are bringing you down? That's the other part. Don't just try and fit in somewhere. <laughs> it's got to be people you relate to. I hope that helps and I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye for now.